The common Plecostomus is one of the most, if not the most, abused fish in the aquarium hobby. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why. The reason why common Plecos are so abused is because of videos like this. It's not a problem, child. Mm -hmm. Don't drop it. These people have a, a nice, what looks like a little 20 gallon long and maybe a five gallon tank in a nice little room there. Looks good. Uh, spousal abuse, that's always good to put on TikTok. Everybody likes that. I told you. Oh, yeah, you want a bigger neck, Tony? It's not going to fit. Oh, my God. These people are absolute comedians. This is obviously a, a first class comedy channel. Let's use the smallest no, net anybody's no, ever seen to take out a huge oh pleco from a cooler dog. that we took to the fish store because we oh wanted to make oh sure God. that the oh fish God. was okay for its trip home. Oh, that's great. Good job. I wonder what could possibly happen. I don't know if I want to post that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're going to post it because that's what gets views, right? If you just took it out of the cooler that looks like you got it from a Chinese restaurant and put it into the tank, a 20 gallon tank. What's fun about that? We need to include a little bit of spousal abuse and then possibly even a little bit of animal abuse. That is what's going to make it a very successful video on TikTok. And listen, I know I'm being a little overly dramatic when it comes to spousal abuse, but I, I don't know. That just didn't qualify as comedy, in my opinion. Oh. Well. Success! <laughs> you know, when FedEx decided they were going to start a campaign where they were going to hire people with special needs, I don't think they anticipated this kind of a thing being put out there in the public. A cackling coyote of a wife that is supporting her special needs husband as he puts in a huge pleco into a, is it a 20 long? Is it just a 20? Is it a 10? I don't know. I like the jack-o'-lantern with the sorting hat on top. That's pretty clever. Uh, and obviously they need a sucker fish in that tank because it's got a ton of algae because a tank that big, as busy as I am with this cackling broad, I don't have time to clean the tank. So I got to make sure I bring in a fish that'll do it for me. You wonder why I say these fish are abused. Not only are they thrown from their container, but then they're put into small tanks like that. So I um, mentioned in my last video, I have Pleco, a little algae ear, um, somewhere in my tank. And I realized I had not seen him in a minute. Usually my husband is in the corner. However, I found him. His bones are picked clean. And I feel terrible because I did not remember the last time I saw him. Now you feel terrible. These two have no remorse. I, I no remorse. The way the fish. No remorse because they're punishing you for the way you're treating them. But look at the maps. Zero remorse. Yeah. Uh, so listen, Hannah is the one that uh, uploaded this. When I hear the name Hannah, I automatically assume somebody very, very young because that name has been trendy for naming babies for a while. Uh, but then it's followed up by a 93. So if that's the case, you're 30 years old, just acting like an eight-year-old and having an eight-year-old's voice computerized voice doing this. Listen, there are so many things wrong with this video. I wish I had gone and checked the comments of this, but not only was it abusive to the Pleco that you used to have in there, but is now a pile of bones, uh, it's also severe abuse of two absolutely beautiful koi. Look at their mouths. They don't have remorse. I've never really seen fish show remorse with their mouth. But what those fish are showing you, Hannah, with their mouth is that you are abusing them. You have no remorse for what you're doing for those fish. Putting them into a 20-gallon tank with unicorn vomit gravel, fake plants everywhere, and these are fish that could possibly get 
to three feet long. You are abusing your fish. You abused that pleco and you paid the price for it. Why is there only like six inches of water in that tank? What is wrong with you, Hannah? Let's use common sense. At least fill it all the way up. This is not a video about abuse of goldfish or koi. Perhaps I should do that video too. There's plenty of that on the internet, but this is about plecos. A pleco was abused in there to the point where it died and it was eaten by the koi, which generally won't do that. They didn't just eat the fish. That fish died and then the koi snacked on that fish's carcass. And you know what, Hannah? It's your fault. Shame on you. So I had to uh, take out the audio on this, but it says, TikTok, please tell me why my sucker fish, there's that again, keeps coming to the top and eating like this. Is this normal? And it's, it's pretty adorable, actually. I've never seen a pleco do that, uh, but this is a fish that is so hungry that it has gone to the top to eat flakes that are floating around on the top of the tank. Is it normal behavior for them to do that? Um, well, if they're that hungry, sure. Yeah, if they're not being fed anything down at the bottom because you think they're simply a sucker fish that eats up all of the poop and all of the algae off of the bottom, you're not feeding them anything. Yeah, they're going to go to the top of the tank and eat flakes and make it look like a circus act like that. Yes, the reason why that's happening is because you are not taking care of this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assume that once again, this is a young person that has done this and they don't know any better. All they know is what they've seen on TikTok where people say you got to get a sucker fish because it cleans the tank for you. So I'm going to assume you don't know any better. You didn't realize that it was abuse to put this gigantic fish into a 20 gallon tall. You didn't realize that you need to feed this fish because it's not just going to survive on the stuff that falls down to the bottom and you're surprised when this fish is so desperate to eat that it goes and performs a high wire act and eats the flakes i'm not being mean to you here we're in a world where if you're telling somebody the truth you're being mean don't get all bent out of shape if the creator of this video watches this i'm not being mean to you i'm simply telling you you're doing this wrong your fish is desperate and this is why it's behaving this way is it normal for a well-fed pleco no it's not normal but in your tank it's definitely normal another case of a fish being in a tank that's too small and not being taken care of because they don't think they have to. Let's have some fun and check out some of the comments that were put on this. Anthony Lopez, bro, mine doesn't even eat. When you get information like that, you wonder why the fish is being mistreated. Epic Gaming, not enough algae. The Boogie Bane, they only eat algae when they're hungry. This might sound like a ridiculous comment, but it's actually true. They don't need to go and eat algae. Plecos are catfish, folks. They will eat anything they can fit in their mouth. Other fish, shrimp that you drop down to the bottom, pellets, wafers, anything you put down there, they will absolutely devour it. They will consume whatever they can fit in their mouth. And yes, if they're hungry, they will go through and, and graze on algae and things like that. Just like I will from time to time graze on a salad. It, it's just what's there. That's what they're going to eat. But these fish want to be fed meat. They are carnivores. So you do have to feed these fish. Don't rely on them eating your fish's poop and the algae that's in the tank. So this guy, they only eat algae when they're hungry. That's kind of true. If you're feeding a common pleco, there's other plecos that don't fit into this. But with a common pleco, if you don't feed it, it's going to eat the algae because that's all the only option it's got. Just like, again, when the zombies come and all there is that's an option for me out there is salad, I'm going to be very fit because all I'm going to be eating is salads because that's my only option. And then the last comment here, I just had to put this one in here because it's just so much fun. Uh, Karome, uh, there's no allergies enough. 
Hey, you know how almost every YouTuber now is saying, let me take an opportunity to thank today's video sponsor. And then they read you like a two minute long ad read for some stupid company that they know nothing about. I refuse to do that. If you ever see me do that, it's because I am super desperate. But what I will do is say, hey, listen, if you're entertained by this channel, if you appreciate what we're doing and you want to support the channel, check out our website, keepfishkeeping.com. We have everything that you're going to need for your aquarium, live plants, live betas, live snails, and all of the fish food, chemicals, and equipment you could ever need. You want to support the channel? Check that out. Order from us. We'll send it all right out to you. Guys, be honest, or are my fish ugly? Mm-hmm. My coworkers keep calling them ugly. They're right. This is Clarence. And this is Lucius. How can this little guy be ugly? Uh, how can they be ugly? Well, they are ugly. They're extremely ugly. They're one of the ugliest fish in the aquarium hobby. Lucius, I'm sorry to tell you, is an ugly fish, and so is Clarence. But you know what? That's what makes me love them so much. I keep Oscars back here and Oscars are, they're so ugly, but that's why I love them. There's a lot of fish in this hobby that are ugly and that's what makes them cool. So, you know, it, it just is what it is. These fish, they are ugly, but that's what makes them cool. Now, is this abuse? Well, we can't really see the size of the tank, but I'm going to go ahead and guess that Clarence and Lucius are not in a tank that's large enough for them. But the reason why I, I included this in the video is because I just wanted to say that, yeah, they're really ugly. It's a fact, but that's what makes them cool to me anyway. I'm always a guy that's going to stick up for the little guy. I'm going to be the one that's going to defend the nerds in school and stuff like that. When I was back in school, it 30 something years ago, I was the guy that was stand up for the nerds and the ugly kids because I was one of them too. But anyway, I like fish that are ugly. So don't worry about it. If your coworkers think they're ugly, they're right. They are ugly, but that's okay because that's what makes us love them. Now, we need to talk about the video that, in my opinion, is the reason why this is happening, why fish are being abused. Now, I can't single out just this one video, but this one video that I'm about to show you is a great example of why somebody could see it and say, that's completely fine. I'm going to do that too because it's going to make my aquarium hobby so much easier. So what we're seeing here is actually a fascinating video. And when I saw it for the first time, I thought, well, that's really cool that somebody could capture that on film or digitally or whatever you want to call it. But somebody set up a time-lapse camera on a tank that was filthy, disgusting with diatom algae, and they filmed a pleco going through and cleaning all of that off. This is absolutely fascinating to watch. Good job, whoever this is that created this video, but this is actually a big, gigantic, fat steaming pile of problems. And there's, it's pretty obvious what that is. Now, again, this is all my opinion here. You can certainly disagree with me, but it's videos like this that make it impossible for these fish to ever be treated properly. Now, if I'm somebody that just set up my first fish tank and I'm excited about it, it's a lot of fun, the fish are so adorable and cute, and I'm starting to get this brown algae all over the glass. It's all over the place. I don't know what to do about it. I clean it off and it comes back and then I come across a video like the one we just saw. You know, the video that has 5.9 million views. So a whole lot of people have watched this video. I see that and I say, oh, well, would you look at that? I can just put one of those sucker fish in there and they'll fix the problem for me. I can go to PetSmart and I can pay $8 for a little fish that's going to take care of the problem for me. They're going to clean the whole tank out for me. It's brilliant. And listen, fish only grow to the size of the tank, right? So even though I'm going to put it in a 29 gallon aquarium, like the one we see here, a 29 gallon aquarium is completely fine because they only grow to the size of the tank. So it's not a big deal, right? This is the problem. The majority of fish keepers that are in this hobby are not crazy people like you and I. They're simply people that have aquariums 
sitting in the corner. They enjoy them. They like them, but it's not their lifestyle. They don't love this hobby like us crazy people do. And they're looking for solutions to their problems in their aquariums so that they don't have to do anything. I mean, that's the life we live now, right? We want people to bring our food. We want robots to cut our grass and vacuum our floors. We don't want to do anything. And so when we see this brilliant piece of nature that is going to go into the tank and clean it all out for us, it's a dream come true. It's a miracle. And it only costs $8. Jeez, when I bought that robot vacuum cleaner, it cost me $400. This one is eight dollars and it's going to solve the problem my tank's going to look perfect all the time simply because of this eight dollar investment that i make in there this is a, a problem that has never not been a problem and i hate to say it but it's always going to be a problem you can have people like me that will have a pleco in a proper situation this is a common pleco here. He's probably not going to move for the entire video. He is in an eight foot by three foot by two foot tank, 360 gallons. And you know what? There's a lot of people that would argue even that's not big enough. But I say, hey, come on, give me a break. That's a 360 gallon tank. I'm doing way better than probably 99% of the people that keep these fish. So I'm doing what's right. I'm setting the example. I'm putting it out there the right way to take care of one of these fish. Is that going to change things? Maybe for a few people. But like I said, most people that are in this hobby aren't watching videos like mine. They're not watching videos from channels that know what they're talking about. They're watching nonsense like what you see on TikTok. And that's where they're getting their information. I can put a pleco in a 20 gallon tank. It's no big deal. Excuse me. Let me rephrase that. I can put a sucker fish into a 20 gallon tank. It's no big deal. They only grow to the size of the tank and it'll keep it clean for me. They think this because they've never been told different because they haven't talked to somebody who knows what they're talking about because they don't care. The aquarium is just a, a decoration in the corner to them and all they want is for it to look good and for it to not be a problem. They don't want to have to do any work. They don't even feed the fish. They have an auto feeder on there. So they don't even have to do this into the tank once a day. It's too much. I don't have time for that. I want that thing to be completely self-sufficient. So I'm going to put a sucker fish in there to clean it out. They're, they don't care to watch videos like this. And that's a damn shame because these fish are dying they're being abused in tanks with that much water in it and two giant koi in it. They're dying and then being eaten by koi. And some people will buy them, realize that it's not true that they're only going to grow to the size of the tank. They get too big for their tank and their solution, because you can't really take those back to the fish store because nobody wants them that big unless they have a tank like this. None of your friends are going to take it. So what do they do? They take them and they throw them into rivers and what ends up happening. I've done a video all about this. Steve Poland did a brilliant video all about this. You have issues like they had down in Florida and I'm sure still do have down in Florida where you've got river systems that are completely overrun by these fish. They're latching on to manatees. They're causing causing problems everywhere. This is what happens when people don't buy the right fish. If you have a 20 gallon tank, there are plenty of fish that will clean the tank for you, or at least assist you in keeping the tank clean. But a common placostomus is not one of them. If you're considering going to the pet store and buying a sucker fish or a common pleco, don't be an idiot. Don't buy one of those unless you have a giant aquarium and you know what you're going to do with those fish. Otherwise, get yourself some little autos, some Siamese algae eaters, some loaches, get stuff like that. They will help and all of your problems will be solved and you can go back to being lazy and rewatching Breaking Bad on Netflix because that's more important than saving these little lives or even caring about these little lives. That's enough. Rant over. Thanks for watching.